Hello guys, in this video we'll have a look at HTML checkboxes and how we can create them. Checkboxes is used for to allow your users on your websites, you can allow them to check more than one option and that's the purpose of checkboxes. In previous video we reviewed these forms in general and I've showed you some input types already and today I'm going to show you checkbox input type and how it works and how you can create it in your HTML pages. But remember that the main purpose of checkboxes is to allow users to check or select more than one option. And then you, when you create these checkboxes or forms with your checkboxes, you and users select these options and then they click submit, this data gets sent to database. But like I mentioned before, for that you will need some backend scripting language to collect this data and send it actually to database and store it there. And then you can ret retrieve that data from database and uh, display it wherever you need on your website or pretty much do everything you want. If you want, you can have a look at my PHP tutorial and there after this video series, after this HTML5 and CSS3 video series, where I show you how we can get this data, how we can store it in database and so on and so forth all data from forms. So to create checkboxes we again open triangle bracket input and then we say type is equal to checkbox. The difference in these f all f uh, form fields as you have noticed is this type attribute which we looked at attributes in previous videos. So this type attribute is the only pretty much the change and it says checked box okay and then you can specify a name for this checkbox because your checkboxes might have names and names are usually groups of names for example if you have some groups of names for example for countries then you name that this for example name would be con so country okay and the other names groups groups of checkboxes you would want to be like cars, then you would group them and call, their call them vehicles or cars. And then you specify value, what you would want to send to database what when user checks this particular checkbox. And here you can put as well whatever you want inside. And I will put, for example, we will create two checkboxes with, with two countries. And one will be USA for United States of America and then we close this checkbox off and then we say uh, USA we could say we could write any text there whatever you want after this checkbox but let's save this and let's preview and run in Chrome browser okay and you see that we have this checkbox and when we check it it is checkable and after this checkbox we have this USA and if we would want to create one more checkbox with the same group like I mentioned before because for when you will be creating for database you will want to know these group names which you call uh, which you give to checkboxes by name and this would be country and I would say UK for another checkbox okay and to push this other checkbox into new line I will just add a break tag after the first checkbox so it pushes this next checkbox to the next line and let's save it and let's preview it in browser again and refresh and you see we have now two checkboxes and we can check both of them yes guys this is pretty much about checkboxes how you can create checkboxes and what are the purpose of checkboxes so checkboxes but they make more sense when you start working with backend programming but in html you can just create these checkboxes but with some backend programming language like PHP you can get values from these checkboxes and store them in your database and values are and we wouldn't put here USA we would put UK as well for second checkbox as value because values are those values which will be stored in database when user will click check these checkboxes and click button submit and as you remember to create the button submit we use as well another input type like input type is equal to and type name is submit and if we want to give this button any particular name we use value attribute 
and in this value attribute we could say send or save save for example whatever you want this button to be called and then we close off this button and let's save this oops let's save let's go back and you see we have two checkboxes USA UK and save and you say we, we have in country here at the top you can see that this stored in variable country and we previewed this as well like get and post methods of forms we one is stored USA and variable country another stored UK value okay guys this is pretty much how you can create checkboxes and if you found this video useful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video